What is the power of prayer in our lives? Have you ever walked into a mall or a grocery store or some place where there's a background music and all of a sudden you hear a song you really like, but before that, you never even noticed that there was music? You see, in my mind, that's a metaphor for prayer. God, the music of God's love is playing all around us all the time. He is above everything, below everything, in everything, and in our own hearts. And so it's through the things of nature, experiences of nature, conversations, things that other people say, where God is talking to us. Prayer is about taking the time to sort of intentionally focus on that uh, communication, to try and listen as closely as we possibly can. There's different kinds of prayer. There's our formal prayers, like um, saying the rosary. That's a beautiful gift. Uh, and, and to offer each time you say a Hail Mary or an Our Father, with Our Lady in praise of God our Father, we asking her to bring us closer, but also we can use that as a way of praying for other people. So I say my rosary every day. But other things to do is, is to intercessory prayer. I have a prayer that I pray, a list of people that I pray for every day. And I go through and call them by name and, and place them before the Lord. But there's also something called meditation. Meditation is just a way of opening our minds and our hearts, our spirits, to be able to hear what God has to say. It's really much simpler than you'd imagine. The first thing you need to do is turn off anything that's noisy. So if you want to pray in your room or if you want to go by the church or stay after, you can pray outside. You can do that wherever. First of all, stop and just make yourself present to God, to thank Him for the gift of this time and to help you stay focused. Often it's useful to take some kind of piece of scripture. Maybe start at the beginning of one of the Gospels and just read a paragraph. And then in your mind, read it a couple times See if anything jumps out at you. That's called Lexio Divina. And if that does, start pursuing it like you would down an alleyway, a path through the woods to see, why is that jumping out at me? Why do I suddenly notice that? It's because God's pinging you in some way. Another great way of doing this is to take that scripture. And if you are a person with a really active imagination is to close your eyes and then put yourself in the story. Smell the smell of a fire if you're in a house or what it looks like outside. What does it sound like? Is it dusty? Is it rainy? And then see the story unfold and look where you are in the story. When you do that, either one of these, taking the Bible and reading it slowly, what's called Lectio Divina or a meditative prayer by putting yourself in the story. It's as if that piece of the Bible was written just for you at that moment. And just allow it. And if something moves you in some way, something pings like you just got a, a text from somebody or uh, that's God saying, stay with this. See what it wants. See what he's trying to say to you. What does it have to do with your life? Kind of mull it over in your mind. And if something comes to you, then write it down. Keep a little journal. Maybe write it to the Lord if that's what you feel moved to do. Dear Jesus, thank you for showing me this this day. In this way, we start to allow ourselves to be open to what God's asking of us, but then again, to start feeling ourselves transformed. I do this for an hour every single morning. I get up, I walk my dog, play with her, get her tired, and then I go and do my full hour of prayer. That's how much I've gotten into it. I'm like a huge extrovert. I don't know if you've noticed that. And yet I so crave quiet time with Jesus every single morning so that I can hear what he's asking me, so that I can help be a great bishop for you. So give it a try so that you can hear what he's having to say so you can be a great friend, a great brother, a great sister, a great person. God bless you. The only thing not to do is not to pray. Pray, give yourself a little bit of time, five minutes, 10 minutes. I guarantee you if you do it regularly, it's gonna grow. God bless you.